Hundreds of people have been killed in a new explosion of violence in Egypt. It began with a government crackdown today on protesters. Catherine Heenan is here with the details on the story. Catherine. Yeah, Egypt, Pam, just seems to be unraveling as the world watches. More than 600 people have been killed, 4,000 wounded. A real question now, is the U.S. on the verge of losing one of its biggest allies in the Middle East? <laughs> the death toll is staggering. Hundreds of bodies lined up in buildings wrapped in sheets. Wednesday's violence began when police tried to clear two protest camps in Cairo, housing Islamist protesters who want Mohammed Morsi reinstated as president. In the clashes that followed, government buildings like this one were torched. Cameras caught the moment a van packed with security officers went off a bridge. Most of them died. Among those killed in recent fighting, a young journalist named Habiba Ahmed and a British photographer, Mick Dean. After being briefed by his security advisors, President Obama took a break in his Martha's Vineyard vacation to comment. The United States strongly condemns the steps that have been taken by Egypt's interim government and security forces. We deplore violence against civilians. In a move seen as a safe middle ground reaction, the president announced that the U.S. has canceled a joint military exercise with Egypt. What he has not addressed yet, whether billions of dollars in aid will continue as scheduled. Among the reasons it's an important problem for the U.S., Egypt has been an ally in a very hostile region. And it controls the Suez Canal, used by oil tankers and other ships. Any disruption could affect oil prices. The U.N. Security Council held an emergency meeting on Egypt today. Another fallout includes the fact that General Motors has now closed its operations there indefinitely. Pam? Well, joining us now to talk about the developments in Egypt, Dina Ibrahim, an associate professor of broadcasting at San Francisco State, a native of Egypt. She still has family there, also a former foreign correspondent. Thank you for joining us. Are you surprised that the military took this action? Almost uh, more than 600 dead now that we know. No, it's not a surprise at all. In fact, the protesters have been camped out for over a month and they have been given repeated warnings to leave. And so this is a very magnified um, situation. Uh, what I could compare it to locally, for example, is like Occupy Oakland, where it starts out as a peaceful demonstration, then it gets ugly. People are told to go home and um, the army and police have tried to break it up peacefully and it hasn't worked. Not that I'm an advocate of shooting people in the face, that are peacefully demonstrating. I'm just saying it's not really a big surprise. Not a surprise. Um, the U.S. response was to cancel the next round of military exercises with the Egyptian military. Is that enough? I don't know how the Obama administration is supposed to react. I mean, you know, what's happening is the America's influence in the region is waning, and it certainly is diminishing in Egypt. And there's a lot of anti-American sentiment there right now, particularly among anti-Morsi uh, uh, people who are out on June 30th. So really, a lot of people are um, upset with the U.S. government for its staunch support of uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, who are often viewed as terrorists, and they're burning churches right now. Well, the, the Obama administration would likely say, you know, it's such a fine and delicate line uh, to walk. And as you said, the influence of the U.S. in that area certainly has diminished as other things have happened, including the Arab Spring. You still have family in Egypt, um, and they participated in a lot of the anti-Morrissey campaigns. Correct. Um, first of all, how is your family? Is everyone well? Everyone's safe. safe because they're at home and there's a curfew, so nobody can actually leave after 7 p.m. So people are essentially under house arrest right now watching TV. But even those who wanted to throw Morsi out of office, including Mohammed El Baradai, who has now stepped down uh, from this interim government situation, could not have expected uh, this to happen at this level of, of carnage. It's ugly. It's absolutely heartbreaking. It is not easy to watch the images coming out of Egypt right now. So what do you see as the next step? Elections are the next step and that the Muslim Brotherhood, just like they won the first time, need to go right into the next round. Hopefully they'll be free and fair, monitored internationally, and that they can regain a uh, position and we need some national reconciliation. All right, Dina Ibrahim, thank you for your observations on your native land. My pleasure.